has too many similarities to one another that one cannot help and wonder if it all originates from one single source. From the stories of the Nephilim in the Bible, to the Greek Olympian gods and titans of Greek mythology, to the fallen angels known as the Watchers in the Book of Enoch, to the Anunnaki from the ancient Sumerians, to the Hindu Vedas, Norse and Roman mythology. There are many ancient myths that parallel to each other in every religion and culture found all over the world. The legends of gods, angels, demons, giants, heroes, flood deluges, and pretty much anything else that the mind can imagine. Many scholars are making a parallel connection between the Greek gods, Nephilim, and the fallen angels of the Genesis account. The Titans being the fallen angels, or as the Book of Enoch calls them, the Watchers, and the Greek Olympians being the Nephilim, probably similar. Is it possible that the Greek myths are not myths? Was Zeus a Nephilim? Nephilim is the Hebrew word for giants. Was his father Cronus a fallen angel called Sons of God in Genesis 6? I suspect that the legends of the ancient Greeks possibly embody the truth of what really happened in the past and that there were these strange hybrid giants that the Greeks called Titans. Atlas, Perseus, and Hercules from Greek mythology were what would be called in Hebrew Nephilim, offspring from the intermarriage of a god and earthly woman. The Legend of Giants Genesis 6 And it came to pass when men began to multiply upon the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. And the Lord said, my spirit shall not always strive with men in the earth in those days, the Nephilim. And also after that, when the sons of God came unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown. The discussion of giants on earth goes much further and deeper than just this comparison. There are similarities in the biblical writings of Enoch, in Greek mythology, and ancient Sumerian texts, particularly when it comes to the Watchers. In ancient Sumeria, we find the stories of the Anunnaki. The Sumerians looked at these gods as the watchers of earth, showing dramatic similarities between the three ancient cultures. There is also mention of the great Sumerian ruler Gilgamesh in the Book of Enoch, who often describes the Anunnaki in much the same way that Enoch describes the watchers. The giants, also called Jodens, in Norse mythology, are the first living beings, and the first of these giants was called Ymir. And it is from the corpse of Ymir that the world was created. A Jodin is a giant with superhuman strength who lives in the land of Jodenheim, which is one of the nine worlds in Norse mythology. Many of these ancient legends describe the giants as having a fondness for eating human flesh. Numbers 13.32 describes the land of Canaan as a land that devours its inhabitants, and all the people whom we saw in it are men of great size. There also we saw the Nephilim, the sons of Anak. The sons of Anak are part of the Nephilim, and we became like grasshoppers in our own sight, and so we were in their sight. The giants are said to have been the progeny of angels, known as the Watchers. Some believe that these giant beings may have been the reason for the Great Flood, as they were seen to be unnatural and harmful to the human race. In classic Greek mythology, we hear stories of the Titans, the first twelve children of Gaia and Uranus, who rebelled against their father.